The whole town's a bustle. Better adjusted, yeah. Irene Dunn. In the, in the United States. Bob Cummings' grandpa. She's barely checking the plane at all. Bicycle safety lied to me. Powered with x-ray vision. We forgot to mention that last time. Open the Fantasyland Castle in the name of the mechanical monsters of the world! Superman! Crap, that other mad scientist warned me he lived around here, but I didn't listen. ...for use of a very effective teaching tool... Hypnosis. ...classroom film. Wait, I got a workplace film by mistake. Hope you like Achievement USA. The electromagnet rotates until opposite poles are attracted to one another. Yeah, when does Dr. Hopper throw the ping pong balls? Mysterious mechanical monster loots bank. House of Jewels exhibit opens today. ...fence cutters. As tough on the table as he was on the range. Yes, but were there purple cows? The railroad, the cold revolve. Trains and guns, the only things that worked at opening day Disneyland. It's the largest single shipment of gold ever attempted by Lois Lane. By other reporters, all bets are off. Well, I can fly a plane, so stopping a train is pretty low stakes for me. It's Superman! I thought this operation was too petty to draw his attention. We should have scheduled this while one of those mad scientists was distracting him. Hey, when did Great Metropolitan Newspaper change its name? This looks like a job for Superman. Even though it feels weird to be fighting an animal instead of a mad scientist or train robber. Mr. T-Rex, tear down this wall. Sorry, Charlie, you did that voice better than me. Help us, we got lost on the way to Achievement USA. Boy, Fleischer Studios loved animating gauges. Are they hijacking the Billion Dollar Limited again? All right, I hope there's another dinosaur this time. Psh, my plane's way better than this one. All the fun you'll have giving Betsy Wetsy her bath and shampooing her rooted saran hair. Such thrill. Oh, mommy, it's the merriest Christmas. Was that the Don DeFore? No, more bicycle safety. Hey, his hand broke. Tonight, those dreams will become real. And the legends were real, and they became men. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. No, the Billion Dollar Limited. And isn't that the same bridge the other scientists destroyed in the first short? This is just the greatest hits of super destruction. Good deal of the information you want in this film. Ah, uh, not since How to Use Classroom Films has an educational film so clearly shown us a different educational film. 40 million cars ride the nation's highways. It'll take 10 million more for it to be quite the achievement, USA. Trains and guns, the only things that worked at opening day Diz. Hang on, we've already done this bit. Ah, if only the guy from Double Indemnity was here to tell me about the man-made miracle that is these rubber hoses. Well, at least they're painting him as far more polite to Lois than the villains usually are. Oh, God damn it! Get ready for the greatest story of your career. Do all the bad guys have a manual on how to act when Lois stops by? Boy, the Fleischers hated bridges. Ooh, the building's less rubbery than it used to be. This time, rubble only stopped me for a few seconds. It's Superman! And he's assuring us that this cartoon won't be as racist as last month's. Superman fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice. Yeah, except Discovered for last time when he fought on the side of the oppressor, but... On this peaceful island crowned by the great volcano Mount Monacoa. Oh, good, another travelogue in a Superman short. Well, I hope this one also has a dinosaur. Da, 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 deja vu. All right, we've already learned how to use the classroom film, and now we've got to figure out which one to choose. Since I'm a math teacher, I think I'll choose Aronofsky's pie. Can't wait to see how many times this short uses the word well. I am reasonably certain I already riffed this last month. Look, I'm out of Sparrowhawk jokes. Show me something new. Well, how about these young fellows coming out of the medical schools? This guy's just irate because he tripped over Johnny's bike. Okay, now they're showing us footage from how to use classroom films. These films are cannibalizing each other. That's a long pull string. Must be an extra chatty Kathy. So these shorts went from inspiring Godzilla to cribbing from King Kong. Let's hope we get a Mothra connection soon. And the lion gets away and starts a new life in Belize with that vulture from the first cartoon. Gale Storm? So it's just going to be a tour of Autopia's special woman driving space? It was the best ride she'd ever had. This expert forgot to leave a note for the milkman. Milkman, the man with the powers of milk. Where's those Fleischer cartoons? A check. Of course, it also makes it easy to know what not to take. Save this for a bicycle safety short. How to go to the moon. But there's no footage of me on that Tomorrowland attraction, so who cares? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. This page is to have a picture. Oh, they're doing the novelization of Birds of Prey. Damn it, E.B. Now, one push of a button... And the big press starts. Wait, no, it's gonna overheat the machine that keeps the Metropolis T-Rex frozen. Acrobat Lois is back, baby. Damn it, are we back at the circus? Uh, couldn't you just pick the truck up? 
I mean, it's better than moving the train track that was leading up to it, I guess. Next, the doctor stops in to see the Clark family. Clark's family? Martha and Jonathan? Wait, no, they don't exist in these riffs. Someone was jealous of Superman's ass shot in the circus cartoon. To get away from home. Well, now this just turned into how to go places. Sorry about that, it was just some leftover fire from the circus cartoon. There's a Dr. Wilson of the Egyptian Museum. Dr. Wade was busy with the house call. Doctor, my eye. Lois, after what you pulled at the volcano, can you blame him for this? Dr. Jordan was the world's foremost student of hieroglyphics. Wait, that's just the disguise Clark wore last time. Again, great super hearing, Clark. You know, I'm just gonna say it, I miss that weird Lewis guy. Sarah from the snob is crying by those trees. Where's Hitchcock, still in the bathroom? Another point of great stress is here. Did they have to watch this so whole tutorial is, before making each one of the 50 million cars in Achievement USA? Disguised as a mild-mannered newspaper reporter, Clark Kent. And if he's dealing with the mummy, he'll spend most of his time as Clark Kent. And while on a hunting... This guy again? Did he quit the Egypt Museum? Well... He's a how-to-use-classroom-films kid. The depths of hell? Or is it just the mechanical monsters lab again? Remember, Lois can fly a plane, can't park a boat. Lois! Lois, did you steal my press pass again? Because if so, I'm leaving you for dead. Oh, bang goes new Betsy. And spin! As far as these boys are concerned... Well, he said, well, he's ready to be one of the kids in how to use classroom films. Another day, another time I'm grabbing Lois in one hand and the crook in the other. Ah, oh, crap, there are three of you. Maybe modern science will make you think differently. But can it explain what makes a ball bounce? No, he's just a harmless crank. I mean, it's not like we're routinely dealing with mad scientists making good on their threats to this city or anything. Someone else seems to need him badly. Now that I have you alone, Doctor, tell me, what makes a ball bounce? It's a deal. Perry White's voice has sounded completely different in every episode. 